In this problem, we need to find the indefinite integral of e to the x plus 2 times e with respect to x. And notice we have a sum here. And if you have the integral of a sum, we can rewrite this as the sum of integrals. Or in other words, this expression is equal to the integral of e to the x dx plus the integral of 2 times e dx. And now we can evaluate each of these integrals separately. And e to the x is the special function that its derivative is equal to the function. So if we take its integral, it would just be e to the x plus a constant term, which I'll put at the end. And 2 times e, remember e is just a number. It's 2.718 and so on. It's an irrational number. And taking the integral of a constant would just be equal to that constant multiplied by the variable you're taking the integral with respect to, so x in this case. And then we have plus c, some kind of constant on the outside. And one way to check if your answer is correct is to just take the derivative of your answer. And if you get back the original function that you started with, that you were originally integrating, then you know that your answer is correct. So taking the derivative, I'll write it like this, we have e to the x plus 2ex plus c. We're taking its derivative with respect to x. We just do it term by term. And as I said earlier, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And here we have x to the first power, so we'll use the power rule and bring the 1 down in front. So it will be 2e times 1, which is just 2e. And then we'll subtract 1 from the exponent. So we have x to the 0, which is just 1. So this is 2e times 1. And the derivative of a constant is just 0. And one way to think about this, let's say we have 2 here, if our constant was the number 2. This is the same thing as 2 times x to the 0, since x to the 0 is just 1. And if we take the derivative of this, it would just be 2 times, and then we bring the 0 down in front. So it would be 0 times x to the 0 minus 1, or negative 1. And 0 times anything is just 0. And since, after taking this derivative of our answer, we got back the original function that we were integrating, we know that this is the final answer.